Now, so I talk about Jeremiah, Jumoke, my sister. Beware of false knowledge. It's more dangerous than ignorance, as counting others' sin doesn't make you a saint. Nigeria, religious but less godly. I recently watched some videos posted by some youths claiming to be Muslims, requesting the Inspector General of Police to arrest popular Nigerian comedian Nedu Wazobia, a.k.a. Alaji Musa. One even went, went as far as giving him ultimatum to stop the comedy or have himself to blame, on the ground that his comedy is a mockery of and insultive to Muslim and Islam. Their grouse is that Alaji Musa, played by Nedu, was not a true representation of Muslims, as he was fond of always falling cheaply for women with big chests, if you know what I mean. One of them even went further to condemn any Muslim laughing at such comic representation of, of Alaji as not being a true Muslim. I laugh in Fufu Day. While I agree that religion is a very sensitive issue in this country, and everyone guides his own jealously, especially the Muslims. But if I may ask, since when has liking a woman become a criteria for determining a true Muslim, or not? How has the name I call myself, or the fact of how I dress in a comedy series, without actual reference to any of the religious paraphernalia, become a mockery of that religion? How has the fact that a man dressed in jalabia and cannot say no to a chesty lady become a mockery of one's religion? Anyway, with the fashion, I no go see for two gates. Ordinarily, such thread video would have passed for a comic relief or people desperately seeking attention. But considering the kind of country we are in, where we are highly religious, yet less godly, I would advise Nedu not to take such threats as veil threat. He should report to the appropriate authority immediately and accordingly. I'm constrained to also state that our problem really is not religion, but the practice of it, as we are often in tolerance of others' views and opinion, no matter how altruistic, simply because it differs from our religious worldview. A country where we would protest a lady's dressing, but will be silent on the killing of our cleric by criminals. We are youths, we kill a lady for preaching a religion different from theirs, and government will be silent on it. We are pastors who collect money from congregations to build schools that the poor congregants are unable to send their word to because of fee. Yet, both religions are Abrahamic in origin, borrowed from the East, and preaches love, tolerance, and peace. The average Nigeria is either a Christian or a Muslim, but just last year, 2020, Nigerian breweries recorded sale of almost 300 billion, while Guinness is expected to record sale of 275 billion naira, almost totaling 600 billion naira, about $3 billion, which is about 3% of our GDP. Not to talk of the spirit, wine, champagne, and the rest. Yet, both religion enjoy adherence to avoid alcohol. A country with so much churches and mosques yet drank 600 billion worth of alcohol in one year. I would therefore advocate that we can only truly feel at peace and move forward as a people if indeed we practice and live love and tolerance that we preach in both religious belief every day. While I'm not trying to encourage desecration of any religion by anybody, it is my belief that the idea of fighting for God has done us more harm than good. It has destroyed homes, farmlands, killed millions, rendered many homeless, even some widow and widowers, others orphan, and broken many hearts. If you feel more anyone has des desecrated your religion's belief or practice, resort to threat and violence is not the way out, as our courts are there to determine such actions and restrain further steps. I, am f I for one, having grown up in a purely Muslim community, community and can recite the Fatiha and a few verses in the Quran, even though I'm a Christian, I do not see anything wrong with a man wearing jalabia, having a soft spot for a woman. Even Christians wear jalabia in Israel. And on a lighter note, as my family will call me Alajitia Moniwaka, my nickname in the days of yore, I do not hold people accountable to standard I can't apply to myself. I don't think anyone has any right to in Nigeria, except our politicians. And you know our politicians hate competition. So let's disagree to agree and agree to disagree.
Libros, I, I want to ask you about the laughter in full, full day. You know, you say you laugh in full, full day is interesting. You know, when you that laugh, one. when you laugh in full, full day, um, I don't want anybody to. I would have uh, laughed publicly. Here. Yeah, right. but I don't want anybody to yeah. accuse me of well, not but, laughing but right. Just, just, just to jump in, I think these are very serious uh, issues, and it's just a reflection of the situation. There's tension. There's mistrust. There's everything, yeah. and these are all the outcomes that yes, we're seeing um, now the fallout um, personally uh, the alaji nedu yeah. I, I if you'd ask me i think he's portraying more of a northern culture because yeah. there's there's a divide between the religion because you need to show me in the book the holy book where they say this is how you must dress as a muslim True. you know but northerners dress like, like that, that. Yeah, yeah. so if you're using his dressing to uh, to uh, signify or oh, tie him to a religion, then I have a problem with that. I've also read somewhere where another comedian wore or dubbed this Igbo attire and they said he was desecrating it because he wasn't supposed to wear the uh, a necklace or something. You understand? So yeah, we have sentimental attachment to yeah. some of those things, but these are all reflection of the time that we're in. True. You know? Okay, so I, I want to jump in and talk about the 600 billion Naira worth of um, alcohol. alcohol that we Just BL, because champagne wasn't captured. consumed <laughs> in this country in 2020. I don't know whether the lockdown was contributed to it. Maybe the lockdown <laughs> contributed to it. We don't know. But what we really want to know are these people ghosts. Yeah, but, uh, but these, things were, these things were consumed by foreigners. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's so the... three things for me. Um, talking about alcohol, we find that during Ramadan, a lot of nightclubs actually shut down. And I always ask myself, if the real Muslims who are not supposed to touch alcohol at all really do not drink, <laughs> why are the nightclubs shutting down during Ramadan? Well, it's it, 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 it respect of respect the holy uh, Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I hear you. Mm. Secondly, Nigeria is a country where a Nigerian young girl won Miss World, and so we automatically were to host the next one. And because of religious beliefs that how can they be wearing bikini and dressing like that? It was supposed to be held in Abuja. They had to relocate outside of Africa because there, there were riots. People saying, no, this is not our culture. This is not what we are about. No, but there was actually what happened. The journalist made a reference that our Muslim brothers and sisters didn't that like. somebody was protested, alive. Yeah, the protest was against that line she wrote. Because mm. I remember very well I was in the thick of it. And well, that was an insensitive statement. And the third yeah, thing for me it. is, mm. if your religion truly is love, you would correct somebody who's erred in love in such a way that you can correct somebody who is wearing your um, cultural attire wrongly. That, and, and you won't find it offensive, actually. A woman was said to have taken a son to, I think it was the Lai Lama, to say, please let me speak with this guy. He smokes too much. And the guy said, OK, you will need to bring him back in six months. So he brought him back in six months. And then the woman bothered to ask him, why did you say I should come in six months? He said, because when you brought him the first time, I was smoking myself. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait and wean myself off smoking before I have the liver to, <laughs> to, to, judge, to, to judge. Even judge somebody and not only the person to stop smoking. That's there is a less a deep lesson because you can for our religious people you don't in, that, in that in that space. said something that uh, I think it's very, very important. Um, if you cut through all our religion, even the traditional one, I think, one thing that is very common is love, mm. you know, and okay. tolerance, you know. We have a lot of this hypocrisy that like you talked We're about. I want to be seen yeah. to be but behind it's there are other else. things. So you're not truly, you know, there's that you're religious, but you're not spiritual. Yeah, yeah. Spiritual is you and communing God. with God. It's personal. And between that, there is a lot of love because it takes tolerance. Yeah. You have to accept another person. Right. You understand? There's no compulsion. It's so bad that even sect, you are not even a true. A single Somebody asked me, yes, I, you are, not are you a Christian? I said, I'm a Christian. I said, are you saved? I said, which one is the same thing? <laughs> are, you, are you truly born again? Are you born again? again? And, and I'm like, I'm speaking. You, you, are, you are confusing me. 
uh, you know, you ask me if I'm a Christian. The people who were called Christians were those who were. So all of these things, it is not just uh, Islam to Christianity. Even Self within Christianity. Yes. You know? I so in, I remember those days growing up. You see the Ahmadiyya Muslim. Their mosque is different from the other. And I'm like, is this not all Islam? I tried to, for a long time, get answer to it. And I didn't. But anyway, I know one talk plenty. <laughs> just just to remind us. <laughs> anyway, you're all laughing in Fufu Day anyway. Just to remind us that if we are half as godly as, we, as our claim to re religiosity is, our world will be a far better place. After the break, Bolaho is asking us to drop religion and look after our children if we indeed want a better country tomorrow. And I already agree with him even without hearing him first. Thank <laughs> you.